WNBA defeated Team USA at tonight's All-Star Game. It's currently past 12 o'clock midnight here. I was at the salon all day, as you can see. <laughs> Look at that bitch braids. <laughs> Look at that bitch braids. What is it, the braids? And also I have to do some freaking military stuff at five in the morning, putting on a freaking 5K color run. So my day has been busy, but I was like, that is no excuse. While I was sitting up in that salon chair, and entertaining my homegirl, I was still watching the WNBA All-Star Game. In game, what came through with WNBA had a winning score of 117 points to Team USA's 109 points. The star player of this game is Miss Arike of the Dallas Wings. Again, her last name starts with an O, but she put up 34 points. She had three rebounds and six assists. Other key players was uh, Angel Reese. Of course, she put up 12 points, 11 rebounds, zero assists. Alicia Gray, she put up 16 points, three rebounds, and three assists. Caitlin Clark had four points, one bound, and one rebound, and ten assists. Wow. Angel Reese, Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark joined forces, okay? They came together like the Bloods and the Crips, okay? They came together like this. Let me tie this together. Can I, can I tie this together? They came together like this, Bloods and Crips, okay? They joined forces. They joined forces. They came through, they did what it had to do, and they defeated Team USA and won the WNBA All-Star Game. It was a beautiful play and pass that I just inserted in this clip in the beginning of this video of, of Caitlin Clark feeding Angel Reese. She spoon-fed her that ball, and Angel Reese just uh, puts it up, puts it up on the side of Team USA's head. Enrique, okay, Miss Enrique was on a freaking mission when it came to the way that she played tonight during the WNBA All-Star Game. She really put the screws to the ASS. Okay, when it comes to the Team USA. A lot of people said that um, the reason why Enrique was playing so aggressively and so effectively is because she actually felt snubbed, because she actually wanted to be on the Women's Team USA and actually support and represent for, you know, her country, America, when it comes to the Paris Olympic Games. But they said for the second time in a row she was snubbed, so she actually withdrew her name like some days or weeks later, uh, some time ago. And she decided, like, you know what? I'm going to be an all-star. I'm going to play Team WNBA, and I'm going to show – the the olympians why it is i who is the true olympian again arike only played in the second half of this game and she put up 34 points so again like her minutes were diminished she only played at least at the most 20 minutes and i mean she really brung the heat tonight they said arike plays like she hates america they said arike said i'd rather serve crack than serve this country screw team usa alicia gray is needed at chicago sky again my first time uh being introduced to her my first WNBA game was back in June. I was in Chicago and I had witnessed Atlanta Dream defeat Chicago Sky at their own stadium. And I witnessed Alicia Gray. She was putting up point after point. I, I noticed Alicia Gray and Nas Hillman of the Atlanta Dream. Alicia Gray is so cute. I love her southern accent, her personality. She actually won over a hundred. She won $115,150 during the All-Star game. And again, like her personality, her skills when it comes to three-point shooting, her ball handling skills, her overall basketball IQ. Alicia Gray would be a perfect fit for the Chicago Sky. We had the uh, performer, uh, Pitbull. He actually performed at the WNBA All-Star Game uh, during halftime. It was good. It was nostalgia. It was like, why is Pitbull performing like in 2016? I'm like, 2016, baby. See, this is how I know I'm getting old. Pitbull was on my playlist and all of our playlists heavily back when I when I was like 14, a freshman in high school. I'm talking about 2009. Tonight, I'm on all of you tonight. Give me everything tonight. Again, it was good nostalgia. I'm like, you know what? Clap up for Pitbull again. He had, like, he was a little bit out of breath. I ain't gonna lie in the beginning. He came through and performed. He showed up for these ladies. I wish they had some female rappers to perform, like say, Lakia, Cardi B, Megan The Stallion, even Victoria Monet, the R&B singer Kalani, to perform during the halftime show. But hey, maybe next time. Angel Reese became the first rookie to record a double double in a WNBA All Star game ever in history of the WNBA. Claps it up for Miss Angel Reese. And it was so sweet. So she actually found the, the little girl. I'm not sure if it's the same little girl whose name is also Angel Reese. So I'm sure that, I think that was a little black girl. But again, not to be controversial, but it was a little white girl at, at this um, WNBA, WNBA All-Star game. In the crowd with her father. And she was holding up a, a, a sign that says, you know, I'll trade you all these candies, these Reese's. It was Reese's uh, Buttercup, you know, a play on Angel Reese's last name, Reese. And she's like, for your shoes. And uh, Angel Reese, she let her keep the candy. The little girl could keep the candy. She actually uh, autographed her own shoes and gave it to the little girl. And it was like, I could just tell I made her day. She seemed so happy. It was so sweet. Like, people were talking about how, you know, it moved them to tears. I was like, oh, this is just so, uh, you know, sweet. And it's just like, 
it shows you Angel Reese's character because one, she actually was looking for in the crowd for this little girl. She fulfilled that promise and she gave her her shoes and she actually signed and autographed them for her. All in all, this was a very exciting game. If you ask me, Team WNBA, they pretty much should, you know, represent the U.S. Women's Basketball League overseas when it comes to playing in the Olympic Paris Games because they literally just beat our Olympians. Now, some people will come up with the excuse and say, or the explanation of it, that, well, you know, of course, like, the, the Olympians are Olympians. They got to actually go out in, like, a week or so or less to actually represent uh, the Team USA Women's Basketball team. So, of course, they're not going to put so much uh, pressure on the gas, okay? They got to reserve some in the tank for, you know, the actual Olympian Games. I'm like, nah, listen, I feel like this is how it should go every four years now for the WNBA we're going to split it up just like how we did it this year. Team WNBA versus Team USA. Team USA. Now, Team USA will be able to stay Team USA and actually represent us as a um, on a global scale at the Olympian Games. But if Team WNBA beats Team USA, then they are now Team USA and they will represent us at the Olympian Games. That's just my opinion on how things should be done and run. Yes, again, like the freaking, the Team WNBA, the rookies, I, I was always cheering for them from the from the start. But a lot of people were Team USA. They was like, oh, y'all got to show these rookies. Y'all better put them in their place. Y'all better show these little girls. They still got similar like, on their breath. Come on, Diana Rossi. Come on, Asia Wilson. They ain't have no answer for them. It was, like, it was like, at some point, I'm like, what is wrong with Asia Wilson? Like, why is she playing so bad? Like, come on now. Like, y'all, again, like, y'all the Olympians. Y'all can say, like, y'all just trying to take a rest. Y'all trying to take it easy. Because at one point in this game, Diana Rossi, she actually kind of got injured. She had, like, a slight uh, neck injury. But thankfully, like, she came back in the game. I think it was either the second or third quarter. She came back. She seemed fine, pretty much. Like, hopefully she'll, it won't affect her performance when it comes to um, um, her playing for, the again, the, the Olympic Games coming up very soon in Paris. What were you guys' thoughts on um, the WNBA All-Star Game? Did you enjoy it? How did you enjoy Pitbull's performance for the halftime show? Were you Team WNBA or Team USA? And don't lie. Team WNBA came through with the W.